Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this picture frame that I made for a uh, cardboard print. Now you can make these for pretty much anything you want, uh, regular pictures, I just happened to buy this print recently uh, and this shows all the ski resorts in New York. So I uh, wanted to make a frame for this and hang it up right over my bed. Uh, and. As you can see, my wall needs a little bit of patchwork, but that's besides the point. Uh, anyway, this came out really good. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, and so let's get into building this. I'm starting here by ripping a one and three quarter inch strip out of this piece of cherry, and I'm trying to work around this big knot that's in the front of it. I'm now cutting some three quarter inch strips of walnut out here at the table saw. And finally, I'm cutting out some thin strips of oak. Alright, and as you can see, I have all these pieces laid out in the order that I want them. Um, it's going to go cherry, oak, and then walnut. And I think this looks pretty good. It's pretty simple, um, but I didn't want this project to be super complicated. So um, I do have a little bit of a defect right here, uh, and I'm going to just use this section up here and not this lower section. Uh, and hopefully I will be able to get all of my sides out of this stock here. Well, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, as you can see here, it's a little big, but I'm going to cut it down so that this will fit nice and snug. Uh, however, I ran into a problem. I did not have enough material to make one more of these for the top. Uh, so I was planning on using this piece. However, this piece came out too short. And even if it did, it, even if it was long enough, it's backwards. So this is supposed to be on the inside. I'm going to have to recut some more of this stock and make a top. So I'll get to that and then get back to you. All right, so I've been back to work uh, on this today. And the first thing I did was started by just taking a rabbiting bit in the router and putting a rabbit on the inside here. Now I completely forgot to film that, sorry guys. Uh, I forgot to film that, but that's really all I've done so far. I put it in a band clamp just to see how it looks so far, and I really like it. Now what I'm going to do next is start trimming these miters down, because right now this print doesn't exactly fit. Uh, you can see it's not reaching to this miter, so I need to trim down these. Uh, but length, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to start by trimming these down, and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I cut the top and bottom piece down a little bit, and now this uh, print fits pretty snug in here, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, there are a couple little gaps, so I'm going to try just to take away a little tiny bit on this corner here, or on these outside corners, um, to see if I can't get those uh, gaps to close up a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm now happy with the fit, and I'm going to start to glue this thing up. Uh, now, I'm going to try to make this go pretty quickly because I don't want the glue to dry on me, but I'm going to try to make it as square as possible and also make sure I close up all the gaps that are in the corners here uh, if there are any once I get this all clamped up. Um, but so right now I'm pretty happy with the fit so I'm just going to start the glue up. Alright, so I got this uh, all glued up, and I have the band clamp around it, and I also have some of these small 4-inch uh, bar clamps to uh, just make sure that I squeeze all those joints tight and they're not wandering everywhere. Uh, so now I have it glued up, I have it set, set up like this, so it should dry a little bit faster instead of right against the uh, workbench, uh, and I think it should be pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it to dry. So now when doing edges like this, I don't like to use the power sander because sometimes it can slip off and then it'll dang up or it'll ding up one of these sides here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take a piece of scrap wood 
and wrap some sandpaper around it. And this here seems for me to be the most effective method um, at smoothing this thing out. Now I've got a pretty rough uh, piece of sandpaper. This is 180. Um, so eventually I'm going to move my way up. Uh, but this is pretty good to get some of these glue spots off here uh, and to straighten this out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this on all four sides. Now when this project first started, I anticipated doing some sort of bigger... Uh, profile on the outside, but I really like this a very as a very simple uh, as a very simple frame. Uh, I just put an eighth inch round over on the outside and the inside. Uh, the inside needed a little help; the bit didn't get uh, everywhere. Um, but I just used a little sandpaper to clean that up. Uh, and now I'm just going to go over it uh, with some 400 grit sandpaper, and then I'm going to put a finish on it. Alright, so I now uh, put these two keyholes in here, and I forgot to film this again. So I'm sorry, it's a very basic procedure, I just set the fence up, drew two lines, dropped it, moved it, and uh, let the uh, bit come to a stop, pull it back out, do the same thing on the other side. Now when you put these in, if you do the keyholes to hang it, what you want to make sure of is that you're keyholes are going in the same direction. If they're not going in the same direction, you won't be able to get it on and slide it over uh, because you'll be trying to move it one way and it doesn't want to go that way. Um, but uh, there's another way to do it. You can also plunge, move over, pull out. I don't like to do that. I just like to do this. Uh, so um, anyway, let's put a finish on this thing. All right, and here's the completed picture frame. It came out really nice. I'm really happy with the looks, uh, and the finish I'm also very happy with. Now, for finish, I used this wipe-on poly, and I put four coats on, and then I sanded and put a fifth and final coat on. Now, the fifth coat came out really smooth, and it's definitely glossy, which I use gloss, and I, I kind of like that look. Uh, this is a very simple picture frame, but it really... Uh, looks great, especially with this print that I got here. Uh, and uh, overall, I'm really happy with this picture frame. Now, there's a couple things I learned on this project, uh, but you're gonna do the, you're gonna learn things on every project, and that's just things that you can improve on uh, in future things or in future projects. Uh, so overall, I'm very happy with how this came out. I'm especially happy with these keyhole. Uh, these keyholes up here to hang it and I'm definitely going to be using this method uh, more often and I a friend of mine actually gave me uh, these or the, the bit to do this so I'm uh, gonna definitely uh, thank him for that uh, and overall it came out great so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also like down below thanks for watching